So, this video is long overdue. I have had these guinea pigs in my care for about a month now, I think. And I did start filming their video with the introduction before I even went to get them. And then I didn't film anything after that because a lot has happened in that time span. And I just was trying to focus on them and caring for them and dealing with the entire situation. So I've been pretty busy. So I'm sitting down now to kind of catch you up and catch you up to speed. Just in case you don't follow my rescue Instagram, which I highly recommend because that's where you're going to see all the animals coming in and be able to help with maybe adopting or donating before I have time to sit down and put these videos out. So please, please go and follow our um, rescue Instagram. That would be super helpful. So I do have guinea pigs in my care at the moment and originally I was only supposed to take two into the rescue and these two were purchased as company for a lone guinea pig. He had lost his friend and oftentimes with male guinea pigs that are intact, the most stable and the best option is to keep a pair because trios can be hard and difficult and sometimes fall apart and she bought these two guinea pigs. Pets at home made her buy two males even though she had one at home and these two babies actually bullied the other guinea pig and things just fell apart so she either needed to rehome them or give them up and I said I'd take them and I'm really glad that I did. So I couldn't really see much from the pictures itself of the guinea pigs. I couldn't really see what kind of varieties they were because the pictures were quite dark and blurry and I couldn't really see much of the enclosure itself. I didn't know what size they were living in or if they had many toys or enrichment or a suitable diet so I agreed to take them and then a day or so before we were due to pick them up she asked if we could take the third guinea pig the one that she was trying to introduce them to and usually I'm pretty good at saying no if we're a bit stretched for space but something in me was telling me to take him and she obviously wanted the best for him she wanted him to have another friend and I think she'd been a bit put off by the whole situation so I was like yes we'll take the third guinea pig we'll make it work so off we went and collected all three of them. So the person that had them was lovely. You could tell that she did really, really care about them. And she gave us all of their things, their bedding, their food, their toys, accessories, their food bowls, water bottles. And the only unfortunate thing about them is they did really have overgrown nails. And this can be quite difficult to deal with because regular guinea pigs, guinea pigs that have dark or black nails are a nightmare to deal with. But there is always help out there. If you reach out to a rescue that deals with guinea pigs, they can help you trim them and groom them. Or if you book a vet appointment, they can also help you. So you're not alone if you're struggling with rodent nails, rabbit nails, rat's nails. Please reach out to someone because the first thing we did when we got them back was to trim them. Some of them were quite overgrown and actually curling under and digging into their palm. So we trimmed them as best as we could, but some of the quicks have grown quite far out and some of their nails are deformed to a point where they're kind of growing at a weird angle. So they're gonna need trimming regularly to try and bring them back to being flat on the ground rather than growing underneath. Um, but apart from that, we gave them a quick once over. The teeth were fine, the health was fine. The big one was very, very big and maybe a bit overweight. But apart from that, they seemed to be in good health. So I had them here with me for about four days after picking them up. And the single male guinea pig was the sweetest guinea pig I've ever come across. He would sit there and beg you to come and give him attention. He loved to be scratched on his head and he was so vocal, so friendly, that he would just trot over and wait for you to give him a treat. So I was quickly falling in love with him because he was just so sweet. The other two were terrified of their own shadow. Whenever you came into the room, they would dart and be frantically darting around and absolutely terrified. So. That was also breaking my heart, but this little single guy was just the friendliest, sweetest guinea pig. They were really enjoying having fresh green hay and also vegetables, and I kept them on the same pellets they came with. So about four days in is when disaster struck. I went in to check on them in the morning, and I'd seen them about seven or eight hours before, just before going to bed when I checked on them, and they were all doing fine, eating fine. And I went in, and the male guinea pig was lying on his side, um, in the biggest pool of diarrhea I've ever seen any animal produce, even dogs produce. And I was just taken aback, and it takes a lot to shock me. I'm pretty immune to seeing all sorts of things, but the amount of diarrhea this poor guinea pig had produced overnight was just insane. So I immediately sprung into action, started calling a bunch of vets, and managed to get him an emergency appointment at a vet that's about half an hour away. 
and I don't even remember the drive there. I was just zooming, trying to get him there as quick as possible, and they rushed him into the back. I think they put him onto fluids, they did a bunch of injections, pain medication, antibiotics, um, anti-inflammatory I think. They were just throwing everything at him to try and save him. I could kind of tell from the vet's face that things were not looking good and I just said to him, truthfully it's not looking hopeful is it? And he said no, he's not really holding his temperature, he's really really cold and I was kind of expecting them to maybe want to keep him in um, but they sent him home with me just to give everything the best try, they sent him with critical care and also some antibiotics because he didn't think that he was in GI stasis, he thinks it was more a GI infection, um, so he sent him home with all of that. Drove him home, I was mixing up the critical care, he was so, so weak that he wouldn't even swallow or take it in and I think I kind of knew at that point that things were not looking good so we had literally been home for about 15 minutes I think and the poor little guy passed away. Obviously the fact that he passed away is so so sad because he was such a sweet guinea pig and he would have made someone the best pet and I was really really excited for him to find company and to find someone that could give him all the nice things because he was just the best guinea pig but I think if you're really really affected by these kind of things you might not be cut out to rescue because you kind of have to compartmentalise that, allow yourself to be sad for a bit but then focus on the other animals and that's what I did. So I threw all my time and attention into these other guinea pigs and they are absolutely thriving. So the guinea pig that passed away, we did give him a name, his name was Bumble and he was just the sweetest boy and I wanted to catch you up and tell you everything that happened because it absolutely sucks. But on a lighter note, here is the other two guinea pigs, Toffee and Tofu. So here they are, I can't remember if I mentioned but they are about six months old. This one is Toffee, he's kind of an agouti colour with little ginger stripes and he also has quite long hair on the back which was not expected and little tufty bits on his head. And then this one is Tofu and he is a white satin now. The thing with satins, I will leave a bunch of information in the description from like Guinea Dad and also Autumn's Piggies. Luckily this was something that I was aware of before picking him up but straight away when I saw that he was a satin my heart kind of sunk because they can be prone to getting something called satin syndrome and this is essentially just osteodystrophy that can cause their bones to be brittle and thin and I think it doesn't really show up until they're about 18 months of age so he could develop this, he could not. Not all satin guinea pigs get this but in my opinion I don't think it's ethical to breed satin guinea pigs just in case they do end up with this um, and obviously pets at home did not get that memo. <laughs> Obviously anyone that is interested in adopting them has to be aware of the signs and symptoms and also any treatment options. It is a very, very painful disease. If they do end up getting this, it can affect their teeth, it can affect the way they move and walk, it can be very painful. So anyone interested in adopting tofu or any other satin guinea pigs in rescues has to be aware of this because it is something that you have to keep an eye on. But that doesn't mean that he will definitely be affected by this. He can end up being a normal guinea pig and live a very, very long lifespan. And it doesn't just affect visibly satin guinea pigs, guinea pigs that are carriers of satin syndrome. So say for example, if him and Toffee were related, which I highly doubt because they are probably just randomly selected from whatever pet mill, pets at home bought them from. Um, but say for example, if they were from the same litter, Toffee could also carry this and it could also be affected so it doesn't mean that either of them are going to be or that just Tofu will. It's a really horrible disease but just being aware of this helps them and helps the guinea pigs. You can start early management, pain management and things so that is just something to be aware of. Even if it's not with these guinea pigs, if you're thinking of getting guinea pigs in the future, please please look into this because it's something that I had researched and I'm glad I did because now I can make sure he finds the right home. So we've actually had an incredibly kind delivery, a brand called Toffee Apple Studios. They make guinea pig beds and pads and accessories, has donated a few beds and pads and things which is all in this box. So I'm very excited to give them to them. Thank you so much for sending this because that's the one thing that we didn't really have for them. It's some nice comfy beds so I'm sure the boys are going to enjoy these but Thank you so much for sending them. If you're interested in guinea pig beds and accessories, 
their social media and also their website, which I think is an Etsy store, will be linked in the description. Please go and check them out because this is incredibly kind. So the first few things that are in here are some stickers. I think this one is a fridge magnet, so cute. And oops, they design these and draw these themselves. So that is super cute. I'm gonna stick those on my laptop. And then we have a Christmas card, which has a guinea pig and a snowman. I need to decide who to send this to. And then we just have some instructions on how to wash the beds and a cute picture of guinea pigs on the back. So when it comes to the actual items, the first thing we've got is this cuddle cup bed. This is so soft and squishy. Everything in here is rainbow themed and that is really gonna brighten up their enclosure. So this is the first one, so cute. Then we also have this tunnel bed that looks like this. And I believe this pee pad that goes inside. Then we also have a giant pee pad, the boys are getting excited, a giant pee pad that looks like this, and then two smaller ones to go underneath their water bottles. So small, so cute. So let's go ahead and put those into their enclosure. They do have to have a bedding change, but I will do that tomorrow. I don't want them to wait to have comfy beds now they're here. So let's just put them in anyway. So this is their setup, I'm trying to film this as quickly as possible before they start pooping because I've just put them back in. But this is a CNC setup and this one has a really cute door on the front that you can lift up and open and they can come out, they probably won't want to, but I do use this to give them treats. What are you being grumpy about? Hello? Hi buddy, I need to fill your water. So they just have a typical setup, they've got a litter tray at the back as Tofu is demonstrating with hay and flower forage. They did come with a fair few items. They came with a few bowls and water bottles and this bridge, this toy, that ball. So that was quite handy, but they've got other things. They've got these beds, of course, I showed earlier in the video and they've got a food bowl, a water bowl, a bunch of hides, bendy bridges, random toys that they have destroyed and then more hay around this side and then we were going to do a whole ramp section to give them like a loft area at the top but to be honest that probably would have taken up a lot of their floor space to do like a ladder situation so I'm using this as much needed storage. So they have another one of the beds at the back and then I've just covered up this section just to give them a bit more privacy underneath all of the grids and then another hide and this is just a bunch of like rescue supplies. They've got their carrier pee pads and then a bunch of food that we've had donated for other animals that is not currently in use so that is all stored up there which is really handy because I really don't have much space because they're taking it all but it's okay because they're cute. You're cute aren't you? Hi, being brave. Oh, <laughs> who wants a treat? Come on, Tofu, what's this? Good boy. Good boy. Another one? <laughs> Good boy. You're being so brave. Your brother wants one, but your butt's in the way. Your butt's in the way. It is. Hello. Let me get you one. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. There you go. Good boys. You've had two. You don't need any more. So you might be able to see from their behavior, but Tofu is definitely the boss. And I think he was the one that was bullying the other guinea pig that their previous owner tried to introduce them to. But luckily Toffee just lets him be the boss, doesn't try to fight him on it. So they do work quite well together, but look at his little butt.
So these boys have not had much interest, they've not got anyone lined up to adopt them, which I did expect it to take a bit longer than usual because they're not crazy colours, they've not got crazy hair, like some guinea pigs are a lot more desirable to some people, but I really, really want them to find their forever home. They are such sweet boys and they deserve it just as much as any other guinea pig, so if you're watching this and you are interested and you keep guinea pigs or you're interested in guinea pigs and you can get to South Lincolnshire or I can also drive them up to more central Lincolnshire, I can also drive them and meet you in Northamptonshire just in case you can get to any of those places or you know anyone that's interested in male guinea pigs that can get to those places, please please consider them because they are such sweet, adorable boys once you get to know them. And just in case you can't adopt them, if you can share their post anywhere, if you're on guinea pig groups or you've got friends that have guinea pigs, please, please share their post that is on my rescue Facebook page or Instagram. We can do this as a group effort to help them find a home. But yeah, that is the end of this video because I feel like it's already a pretty long one. Of course, they are still staying with me and staying with the rescue, but I found them a really, really good foster home that has like 15 years experience with guinea pigs and she's pretty local to me, so they're still going to be around, still waiting for a home, but with someone that has way more experience with guinea pigs that can care for them, whilst they wait for their forever home. So obviously that is not a long-term thing. They still have to find a home, but... They're going into a good foster home, aren't you? But I hope you guys enjoyed meeting them and watching this video. Please, please go and share their post on Instagram and Facebook and also just give my rescue a follow. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Say bye, Toffee.